This is the Tokyo Butter 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Butter 23, no sneaker channel days. I bring you daily content. Every single day I'm bringing you reviews of upcoming sneaker releases. Monday through Sunday you can rely on Tokyo Butter 23 to bring you the newest information and the latest sneaker releases. And today I'm bringing you an absolute banger. It's the upcoming collaboration between Adidas Ultra Boost and Bait. As I said in the introduction, this channel is all about bringing you daily information and daily sneaker releases. Mainichi absuru no de, zehi mainichi mite kudasai. And I really want you guys to check out my content every single day, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification down below. Zehi toroko shite kudasai. For example, tomorrow I'll be bringing you an Air Jordan 1 release, the upcoming release of the Equality sneaker, the Black History Month Air Jordan 1. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell down below so that you don't miss out. As to our Air Jordan 1 no Black History Month, oh, review shimasu no de zehi toroko ishite, no shirase o no bero o shite, ashito no video mo mite kudasai. Okay, let's get into today's sneaker, which is the upcoming release of the Ultra Boost and Bape collaboration. Now, we've been here before. Ultra Boost and Bape have done collaborations before, most notably on the NMD R1s. Now, I've got a few pairs of NMD R1s, and I think they look phenomenal. I think they're an amazing looking sneaker. However, on feet, they really don't do it for me. They don't fit as well as NMD R2s or Ultra Boosts do. And I do prefer the Ultra Boosts and the NMD R2s. And that's why I'm really happy to see that Bape are bringing out this collaboration using the Ultra Boost silhouette. Now these guys are already on the adidas.jp website and you can find them there in the coming soon section. And it says very clearly February the 2nd is the release date. I'm usually reluctant to give you release dates because they change so often and it makes me look like a bit of a fool when they do that but it's right there on adidas.jp February the 2nd these guys are releasing so I'm pretty sure we could take that one to the bank. Adidas recently dropped a restock of the Yeezy 350 V2 triple whites and it was quite a strange one, an interesting one the way they did the drop, it was a little bit selective of where the drop was going to be and they also hit up people who had previously filled out questionnaires or who had previously missed out on buying these sneakers with a pre-order saying would you like this pair of Yeezys? Which is pretty strange that Adidas would be coming to the customer rather than the other way around. Usually it's the customers to Adidas and they're saying we've got these sneakers ready for you. So I was a bit sort of surprised to see that. And then the drop itself dropped at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning and the full size run was still there at four o'clock on Saturday afternoon, all the way up to US size 13, 31 centimeters. I had said in my review of those Yeezy 350 V2 triple whites that I was not going to cop them. And then they're sitting there in my size and I'm thinking, oh man, it's really tempting, but they're 30,000 yen. It's about $250 and with these Bapes coming up real soon I'm kind of thinking I'd rather put my money on the Bapes than on the Yeezys so I'm still sticking with my decision from that review that I will not be copping those Yeezy triple whites. And with Bape you have to wonder what's going to happen with these upcoming Ultra Boost Bape collaborations because very very clearly other brands have taken over from Bape as being the number one in the sneaker department. For example, A Cold Wall is definitely one of the main collaborations out there that people are really hitting fast and hard. Obviously, Off-White sneakers are in there as well. They sell out very fast and very well for the Nike brand. And then you've also got the Fear of God line that's selling out really fast too. So I'm not sure if maybe there's been too long between Bape releases and these Bapes are not going to sell as well as Adidas are hoping. They are a cracking looking sneaker and I will be trying to cop a pair but will they sell out as fast as people think? We'll have to wait and see. They do have the advantage of being a Bape collaboration, which is a company founded by Nigo, a DJ slash designer here in Japan, a Japanese man himself, which might mean that they go off the shelves and fly out there faster than in other countries. But again, like I said, we'll have to wait and see. Now they are releasing in two colorways. There's a sort of green colorway and there's a black colorway. And I read that the black ones are gonna release in a more limited way and not necessarily necessarily at Adidas stores. However, both the black and the green do appear on adidas.jp, so I'm not sure if here in Japan the release is going to be wider than in other countries overseas. So taking a look at the sneaker itself, it does come with a prime knit upper, which I'm very happy about, because sometimes sneakers do release without that prime knit upper, like a pair of triple black NMD R1s that I bought, the Japanese pack they were called, and I was expecting the prime knit upper and they actually didn't come with it, even though they came at the prime knit 
price. Uh, but these guys, these Ultra Boost dropping in collaboration with Bape do come with that prime knit upper and it really does look good. The signature Bape camel on both of these stickers, very, very evident and really pops off that upper and really looks good. Moving further up from the upper and away from that prime knit, you can see on what is, you know, ostensibly the tongue of the sneaker, even though that is built into the upper, you can see there's the Bape logo, which is an ape's head, similar to the one on my t-shirt right here. But for this Ultra Boost collaboration that they're releasing, that Bape logo is actually done in the design of the US flag. So you've got the Bape logo, the US flag, and the Ultra Boost all working in collaboration at the top of that tongue there. Coming down a little bit from the tongue and the lacing system, you can see the cage, which is as standard on Ultra Boost 1.0 through 4.0s. And I absolutely hammered on the Ultra Boost 2019 because they changed that distinctive cage design. But having a look at this cage, which I do like, you can see that on the black iteration of the sneaker, it's a gray cage on the black upper, but on the green, iteration it's a white cage on the green upper what it is not is a gold cage but we've seen some photos out there of gold cages on these babes which make some people wonder if there's going to be an upcoming release of the Bape Ultra Boost collaboration with a gold cage that we haven't actually seen yet and then if we go even further down from the upper and the cage you get to that midsole it is of course boost midsole front to back without any interruptions this is not an NMD R1 or R2 so there are no inserts and no bricks in the side. The boost runs front to back, so you're guaranteed an extremely, extremely comfortable ride, and it is blacked out, and I do like it when they black out and color in that boost in there, something I think they should have done more of in other sneaker releases, and they haven't really played with that much. And then if we go even further down to the outsole, it's the bog standard outsole that you get on all Ultra Boosts with a collaboration, if you like, with the Continental Rubber, which makes it more durable and an excellent outsole for runners as well as for design and for lifestyle sneakers. And then in the middle of both outsoles, the green pair and the black pair, you've got that torsion system. However, it is a different color on the two different sneakers, the two different colorways, where on the black one it comes in at black, but on the green one it's a different color. And then the final stop on our look at this sneaker, this upcoming Bape and Adidas Ultra Boost collaboration is at that heel counter. Again, they changed the heel counter for the Ultra Boost 2019s, which have been coming out recently, but this standard heel counter that we saw on the 1.0 through 4.0 iterations is here on this Bape and Ultra Boost collaboration. And you can see on the black pair here, it's a black on black sort of design where the black Ultra Boost writing is on that matte black heel counter and it kind of fades in. So you've got that all black effect on the black version of this sneaker, the kind of black upper, the black uh, the black torsion in the outsole, the black heel cups. But then if you look at the green one where the torsion on the, uh, out, the, torsion on the outsole is actually gold, you can see that the heel cup itself is also got that gold hint and the gold effect in there as well. You can see that the heel cup goes with the upper very, very well, and the Ultra Boost writing on the side is in gold, so you've got that gold accent there in the heel cup of the green version of the sneaker. So the green one, there's green in there, there's gold in there, but the black one, it really is mostly black throughout the sneaker with some hints of gray in there, but pretty much a black sneaker. Both of them are popping. As I said, I'm told that they are retailing and selling in different ways with the green ones available in general, but the black ones a lot more limited doesn't appear that way on adidas.jp but we'll have to wait and see for february the second saturday february the second and see how these guys drop they are dropping for thirty-five thousand yen here which is like three hundred dollars heck of a lot of money but i'm actually thinking i might really go for one of these guys it's a lot of money for me but i'm going to give it a shot and that's it that's my upcoming review of the adidas ultra boost and bait collaboration a cracking looking pair of sneakers that i definitely want to try and get my hands on definitely want to try and get the, my hands on the black ones which appear to be a more limited release than the green ones but we'll see if i can do that i do like myself an ultra boost and any sneaker with boost on it is extremely comfortable and if that's what you're looking for definitely make sure you get out there and have a look at these guys and also make sure you hit that subscribe button that notification bell so you don't miss out on tomorrow's sneaker which is the nike air jordan one a quality sneaker we've had a few black history month sneakers dropping i already reviewed the lebron equalities and there are similarities between that lebron sneaker and this air jordan one 
and definitely I'll be checking that out tomorrow and hitting you guys up with an awesome review. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell down below. For now, it's Tokyo Butter 23 checking out from Tokyo saying thanks for looking at my content and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for checking in today, guys. I really appreciate your being here and viewing my content. Over here, we have the channel subscribe button. Channel Toro Kazihi on Agaishimas. Over here, we have the video I recommend you watch next. Kochira wa Osusumi des. And up here, we have a link to the channel introduction video. Kochira wa channel no profil no video des. Check them out. Clicking on them really helps the channel.